Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. I'd done a review for Prey a little while ago and I did say that I thought it was the best, if not one of the best Predator movies in the franchise. And a lot of comments that I got was, you need to watch Predators from 2010. And I actually did see that, but I forgot most of it. And people were recommending it to me saying, you have to watch it, it's very underrated, maybe you'll enjoy it more now. And I thought, do you know what, I'm going to give it a chance and do a review for it. Because it had been so long since I'd seen the movie, I forgot almost everything about it. And when I started watching it again, I started to remember things. But one thing I completely forgot, which was probably one of the most important parts of the film, was it wasn't set on Earth. It was set on another planet. The Predators brought these people to this planet specifically to hunt them for sport. And... That part of the story I thought was very unique because I was surprised all over again because the, the Predator do hunt people for sport and I did say that Prey probably explained that the best but when I watched this one back it's obvious that this one maybe doesn't explain it better but it does explain it pretty well to the audience that this is specifically what the Predators do and this is what this film itself is entirely about. The Predator wants to hunt humans. Don't know why they want to hunt humans only, but, well, in fact, they hunt more than that. But in this one, specifically, humans are the target in this one. So, yeah, in terms of explaining the Predator lore, this one does it pretty well. I have to admit, guys, and I have said this before, I know nothing about the Predator lore. I know nothing about all the different species and versions of the Predators. I just watch these movies for fun. Um, I'm not a Predator franchise fan and you could probably tell from a Prey review because I love Prey that yeah I'm not a fan of Predator movies no, I'm not even a big fan of the original Predator movie but one thing that this movie does well is the characters in this one remind us of the characters in the original Predator movie and that they're all these people who want to be the best at everything. The only thing that's missing from this one is baby oil. You son of a bitch. I also like the idea of these soldiers getting taken from their home town or their place or whatever. They're supposed to be the best at what they do. So the predators take them onto this planet. So they're all from different backgrounds. A lot of them from military backgrounds. And the woman does explain that something happened in 1987 so she kind of knows that the predator exists and i like that idea because what it could mean is back in 1987 the predators were trying to take one person from this place in 1987 and drop them off onto this planet so arnold schwarzenegger might have been one of these characters that would have been dropped on this planet had he not killed the predator in 1987 so it kind of ties in better than I thought it would. For a 12 year old movie I think it is pretty well, the CGI was pretty good, the Predators looked really good, I just didn't see the Predators as much as I remembered or as much as I hoped that I would have but overall the Predators were good, the acting was really good as well, some big names, Adrian Brody obviously, so and I think this movie came out at a time where Adrian Brody was at the height of his career so it was surprising seeing him in the movie at the time because he was so high profile at the time as well. He's not so much high profile now, but I still enjoying watching Adrian Brody because he is a good actor. Not just Adrian Brody, but everyone in this film was really good. This also came out at a time where remakes were oversaturating the, the Hollywood market and they were getting a bad name. So this came out at a time during that, but what they done well is they didn't advertise it as a pure remake but they also didn't advertise it as a sequel either they kept that a secret and when the movie was released we find out nope it's not a remake it's actually a sequel to the original Predator movie similar to what they've done a year later with The Thing The Thing came out again at the same time just a year later and we thought it was a remake of the original only to find out it was actually a prequel to the original so around about this time remakes were kind of dying out and movies with the same name were coming out, acting as prequels or sequels. So it's something that Predators done really well. I think my only issue with this film, and it still is an issue just now, is it wasn't very memorable. And you can tell because when I watched it again, 
everything was shocking me all over again because I thought, I forgot that, I forgot this, I forgot that. The only thing I really remembered, and it wasn't much, was that Topher Grace's character was a little bit suspicious. I can't remember if he was part of the the reason why they were there, which he wasn't. I just remembered him being a bad guy, and he, he was. He turned out to be this psychopath. Um, he must have been the best at the, the, what he done, but he was still a wimp at the end of the day. But everything else was forgettable. And even though I'm doing this review just now, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll probably forget all about it again because it just wasn't a memorable movie. And it's not it doesn't it's not a bad thing because it is still an enjoyable film. It's just not one that I want to watch time and time again. Overall though, guys, I thought it was good. But I don't think it was anywhere near as good or as deep as Prey was because I know that Prey deals with other factors because it is 2022. But it does deal with those factors in a better manner. Whereas Predators is just kind of all out action. Whereas Prey had more of a more of a psychological twist to it. Also, it had a deep connection to the roots of America, etc. I'm not saying that that's the main reason for Prey, but Prey just felt like more, a more grounded, realistic movie, if you could say that. Whereas Predators was just about having fun. Anyway, guys, what do you think of Predators? Do you think it was a worthy sequel to the original? And what do you like better, Prey? or predators, leave the comments down below, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon, bye bye. <laughs>